As we are standing, let us begin our first reading, the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. We declare that the Lord will cover you and protect you from any disease and any fear. You are protected from corona. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 26 to 28. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. Mungu wakasema na tumfanya mtu kwa mfano wetu na sura yetu. Watawale. And have dominion over the flesh of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Watawale samaki wa baharini na ndege wa angani na wanyama na inchi, uh, na inchi yote pia. Na kila chenye kutamba kitamba acho njuu ya inchi. So God created man in his own image. Mungu wakaumba mtu kwa mfano wake. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Kwa mfano wa mungu, alimuumba mwanaume na mwanamuke, aliwaumba. And he said, and, and God blessed them. Mungu akawabariki. And God said unto them, Mungu akawambia, Be fruitful, Zaeni, and multiply, mkaonge, mkaonge and replenish the earth, mkaingiaze inji, and subdue it. Na and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Mkatawale samaki wa barini na ndege wa angani na kila kiumbe chenye uhai kiendacho njuu ya inchi. Father in Jesus name Baba kwa jina la yesu. speak to us today Nena nasi leo. in the language we can understand. Kwa lugha ambayo tunaweza tukaelewa. Holy Spirit of God Roho mtakatifu wa Bwana be so mightly in our ministry. We need a word before we go home. We need a word for this September. May you speak to us. And even those who are watching across. May you speak to them. In Jesus name. We pray and believe. Somebody shout amen. As you sit down, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, take dominion. Ah, unapoketi engali ya mwezako, muambie utawale. Muambie wacha mchezo, take dominion. Tell them, uh, stop playing, just take over and take dominion. For those who are not aware, wale abawa mjajua, we have the YouTube channel for BCCI, Bible tuko, Celebration Church. Kona mtandao wa YouTube wa kanisa hili la BCCI. Be watching what we have been uh, we, we have been broadcasting. Mwe mukiangalia kile ambacho tumekuwa tukituma mahala pale. Because very soon we will be having our own television. Maana hivi punde tutakuwa na television yetu. For with the God all things are possible. Kwa maana kwa Mungu mambo yote yanawezekana. Some of you will be the broadcast anger. Are they called anger? Wengine wenu ndiyo mtakuwa pale kwenye hiyo mitandao na ndiyo mtakuwa mnatuma maripoti pale. We are taking over. Tuna miliki. Some of you didn't hear what I said. I said we are taking over. Nimesema kwamba tunachukulia kabisa. God is calling us to have dominion. Mungu anatuita sisi ili tutawale. It was in the mind of God ilikuwa katika nia na mawazo ya Mungu to create man kuumba mwanadamu in his image katika mfano wake in the image of God katika sura na mfano wa Mungu he created us akatuumba the first adam adamu wa kwanza and he gave him a mandate na kampa jukumu first of all he gave him the seed Jum. of the blessing Jambo la kwanza akampa mbengu ya baraka. Blessing means empowerment.
empowered to prosper. Na manake baraka inamaanisha umetiliwa nguvu kuna wili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand and say I am empowered. Inua mkono wako sema nimetiwa nguvu. To prosper. Ni na wili. If you came with your hand please lift it up and say I am empowered. Kama ukuacha mkono nyumbani inua mkono sema nimetiwa nguvu. To prosper. Ili nipate kuna wili. Prosperity kuna wili means success all around inamaanisha kwamba wewe una ushindi pande zote whatever you do chochote ufanyacho must succeed lazima kifa, kifanikiwe so god comes to adam hallelujah he comes to adam anakuja mungu juaja kwa adam and he empowers him na anamtia nguvu to prosper ili apate kuna wili and he tells him I want you to be fruitful. I want you to multiply. I want you to replenish the earth. And I want you to subdue it. And then he gave him dominion. Today I want to speak about the need for the church to have dominion. Leo ningependa nizungumzie jambo hili la kanisa kuwa na utawala. The moment you get dominion, wakati umepata uweza kutawala. Madharao inaisha. All kinds of reproach inaondolewa. Aibu dogo dogo zinapotea. Hallelujah. I came to release dominion over your life. That fear will not trouble you. That people will not shake your faith. He said I want you to have dominion. And that voice came to me this morning. And God told me. I never brought you to Kunguloni Gosheni. To be controlled by people. You are not born on earth. To live a life without money. Amen. To live a life without money. To live a life with the sickness. To live a life with the begging mentality. Oh, I believe I'm preaching to the right people today. It is God's desire for us to dominate before they put me to the ground. I will control I will dominate. I will be in charge. Today I may be behind. Today I may be down. But who's in the Who's in the Do not gloat over me. Because I am coming up. I came to speak to somebody today. I see you arising. I see you being lifted. I see you taking dominion. If God said it. I believe it. I got to walk in it. Because I know he is not a liar. God is faithful. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. He says, I know the plans I have for you. They are plans to dominate. They are plans to control. They are plans to have the last word. Let the devil be a liar. And God be true. Let all men be liars. But God remain true. God says, I give you dominion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I may be born by a single parent. But God is my father. I might have not gone to school. But God is my father. I may not be the head of the section. But there is something in my life. There is a power inside me. There is God the power to dominate. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Before I die. Kabla sinjafa, every promise of God. Kila hadi ya bwana, over my life. Ya yangu, must come alive. Lazima ya timilike. 
Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not by certificate. Si kwa makaratasi mazuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not by where I am born. Si kwa pale nilizaliwa. It is because he lives. Ni kwa maana you are ishi. I can face tomorrow. Naweza nikashambulia kesho. Because he who saved me. Kwa maana aliyeniokoa. He changed my dignity. Alibadilisha hali yangu. He changed my category. Akabadilisha hali yangu. I was a last category. Nilikuwa mtu wa mwisho. But when I gave my life to Jesus. He restored back to me. The power to dominate. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. What does dominion mean? Dominion means the power to control or to govern. Nguvu za kutawala chochote ambacho kinatawala. Dominion means utawala unamaanisha the power nguvu to control za kusababisha mambo yote to govern yambayo yanatawala yawe chini yako it means the supremacy inamaanisha ukuu all the sovereign the sovereign the sovereign bakaya na kundu ndethe si mundu wako hallelujah hallelujah sovereign sovereignty hallelujah Oh, glory to God. Amen. Authority. Is a sovereign mamlaka. authority. Yani mamlaka yale ya juu. When you say I am dominating, unaposema natawala, you are saying you have power to control. Unamaanisha niko na nguvu za kutiisha. You have a supreme authority Uko over issues. Kona mamlaka ya juu kuhusiana na mambo. It also means Namanisha. the right to possess and use without being accountable. Haki ya sawa ya kumiliki na kupoteza pasipo kuulizwa maswali kwa nini hili limefanyika. The right to possess yani usawa na haki and to use ya kupokea na kutumia without being accountable. Kupokea na kutumia pasipo kuulizwa maswali. It also means inamaanisha the power to direct nguvu za kuongoza to control kutisha to use kutumia and to dispose at your pleasure na kupeana kulingana na tamanio la moyo wako when you say you are dominating unaposema unatawala it means your power to direct inamaanisha una nguvu za kuongoza your power to control una una nguvu za kutisha your power to use una 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 nguvu za kutumia and your power to dispose una nguvu za kutoa at your pleasure kulingana na tamanio lako that is dominating huko ndiko kutawala so when god told adam mungu alipomwambia adam i give you dominion nakupa utawala he was telling adam alikuwa anamwambia you have the power wewe una nguvu to control za kuongoza you have the power una nguvu to direct za kuonyesha you have the power una nguvu to use za kutumia and to dispose na kutoa at your pleasure wakati wako wa sawa jesus christ yesu kristo came to restore alikuja kurejesha what adam was given kile adam alipewa jesus is the second adam yesu ndiye adam wa pili The moment you understand your Wakati position Wakati unapoelewa nafasi yako The moment you understand who you are Wakati unapoelewa wewe ni nani You will change the atmosphere Utabadilisha hali ya You will change the circumstances Utabadilisha mambo You will speak to the wind and the wind will obey you Utazungumza na upepo upepo utakutii It is my promise Ni ahadi yangu I came to speak to a few people today Na nimekuja nizungumze na watu wachache leo Who not sit down to wait to be seated on ambao wataketi chini wangojeo kukaliwa but they will arise lakini watainuka the lion inside you ah simba ndani yako the seed of dominion inside you begu ya utawala ndani yako you shall wake that giant utamusha huyo jitu and begin to prophesy no anze kutabiri you will tell the wind utampia upepo i have authority over you niko na nguvu you will tell the rain utampia mvua i have authority over you niko na mamlaka you will speak to the sickness utanena na magonjwa i have authority over you naweza juu you will speak to money utanena na pesa and tell the money na kuziambia i have authority over you niko naweza juu yako why kwa nini because god sababu mungu has given you dominion amekupa utawala 
Lift up your right hand and say from today. In the name of Jesus. I take my dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus exercised that. Jesus was not a coward. Jesus exercised dominion. In Luke chapter 19 verse 30. Luke Let's go very fast because we want to finish soon. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I came to remind you. Amen. I came to remind you. You have dominion. You can control. You can regulate your life. You can regulate your atmosphere. You have dominion. The Bible says, Jesus said, saying, go ye into the village over against you in the which at your entering ye shall find a court tied whereon yet never man set loose set loose him and bring him either. And even man ask you, why do ye lose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. This is our master. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. By then he was the son of Joseph. He tells the disciples. Go to the village. And then you can call. You shall find a colt. Find him tied. And loose him. And tell even man will ask you. You tell them. The master has need of it. The moment you understand the power of dominion. Your talk will change. The way you see things will change. The way you think will change. Why? Because you know who you are. Listen to me, child of God. We have dominion. We can control things. That job you have been looking for instead of begging for it you need to step in and say I have come for my job I have come for my business I have come for my life dominion gives you the power to speak as God speaks hallelujah and Jesus said tell them the honor Hallelujah. Amen. There are things that are for you. I tell you the truth. No God should live a life of, of begging. There are money somewhere for you. There are businesses somewhere for you. Those debts that you have been carrying over here. There is money somewhere for you. We need a divine revelation to know where that money is. And you will say like Jesus, go to that village. Go to that Supermarket. And then supermarket. Go to that kaposia and, and say kasema, the money that belongs to me. I need it now. Zitaji, May sasa. you receive dominion over your life. Jesus, Jesus walked in dominion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When there were no vehicles, he could walk on water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when Peter saw him, it, Peter told Jesus, if you're not a ghost, if you're flesh like me, bid me to come. And Jesus told him, come. This is not for me only. It's also yours. And Peter began to walk on water. When everybody else was in the, in the ship, Peter 
exercise dominion. Petro akavanja kazi utawala. I dare you this afternoon. Nakwambia koko leo. May that dominion come over you. Utawala uje juu ya maisha yako. You can walk on the things that have been walking on you. Unaweza kutembea juu ya mambo ambayo yamekuwa yanatembea juu yako. The wind that has been blowing against you. Pepo ambao umekuwa ukivuma kinyume na wewe. Can hear your voice. Unaweza ukasikia sauti yako. I release dominion over your life. Na utawala juu ya maisha yako. How will we dominate? Tutatawalaje? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 1. Jambo la kwanza. Ways of us to dominate. Jia zetu za kutawala. If we are going to walk in the dimension of dominion. Kama utatembea kwenye kiwango cha utawala. The first thing we must deal with. Kitu cha kwanza cha kushughulikia. Is our mindset. Ni mawazo yetu. We, we must change our mindset. Lazima tubadilishe vile tunavyowaza. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Warumi 12 mstari wa 2. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came to ignite your fire nimekuja ni akishe moto wako i came to tell you nimekuja ni kuambia where you are is not where you are supposed to be pale ulipo si mahala pako pakua where i am is not where i am supposed to be pale nipo sipo mahala pango here we should be having billionaires people parking range rover outside there tunafaa kuwa mamilionea hapa tuna park magari ya nguvu pale nje We should be having a hair pad around. Tunafaa kuwa na uwanja wa ndege mahali. Hallelujah. Amen. We should be living a life that is impactful. Tunafaa tuishi maisha ambayo ni ya kusababisha mambo kutendeka. I came to speak to a few people ah, today. Ah, nimekuja nizungumze na watu wachache. We are chache. coming out of the boat. Kwamba tunatoka kwenye mashua. We are going to walk on water. Tutatembea juu ya maji. Where the boat is flo- floating. Pale amashua ina in, in That is where we are going to walk on. Hapo ndipo tutatembelea. Paul writes and says. Paulo anaandika anasema. I can do all things. Naweza fanya mambo yote. Through Christ who strengthens me. Ndani ya Kristo ana nguvu. I refuse to be intimidated. Ninakataa kushushwa. I don't know whom I'm talking to this Sijui morning. Sijui nazungumza nani. I refuse to be intimidated. Nakataa kushushwa. The corona will not intimidate corona me. Corona it is hopeful. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. And be not conformed to this world. Ah musifana niswe na ulimwengu huu. But be transformed. Bali mgeuzwe. By the renewing of your mind. Kwa kufanywa upya ni ya zenu. That you may prove what is that good. Mpate kujua hakika mapenzi yake. And acceptable. Yanayokubalika. And perfect will of god na ma- mapenzi yale makamilifu ya mungu do not be conformed usifananishwe do not use the mind and mentality of the human beings usitumie mawazo na nia na akili ya wanadamu don't think the way they think usifikiri na kuwaza wanavyowaza if you're going to come to the level of dominion kama utafika kiwango cha utawala your mind must be changed nia yako lazima ibadilishwe your thinking must be changed oh mafikara yako lazima ibadilishwe your structure must be changed hallelujah thinking like men will not help us kuwaza kama wanadamu hakutatusaidia there is a mind of christ kuna mawazo na nia ya kristo that must come upon your life Lazima hiyo ije juu ya maisha yetu. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. May you receive the mind of Christ. Okay, ania, na mawazo ya Christo. The mind of no defeat. Mawazo yasiyo ya kushindwa. The mind of no giving up. Mawazo yasiyo ya kuachia. The mind that you can't quit even when the life is tough. Mawazo ambayo yanakuambia uondoke hata kama mambo ni mazito. So long as kama tu you have your mind of primary school. Uko na ile nia ya shule ya msingi. Chani ka primary koyacha ni ka primary kidambange kidambange kidamba kidambange nge nge so long as you have kavalula mentality and i want a mawazo makavalula hallelujah so mbuku so mbuku there are things you will never achieve in life there has to be a shift in your thinking no baka bede na shift in mawazo hallelujah hallelujah kava mentality kava Mulundi mentality. I'm telling you these things can never work and operate in the kingdom of God. There has to be a change. We cannot have the mind of this village and win the world. Atuwezi tukawa na nia na mawazo ya ya, ya oh, vile jina tushinde ule mwengu. Lift up your right hand and say I'm coming out. Ino wa mkono wako sema na toka. I'm coming out of this area na toka. Do not be conformed. Musifananishwe. 
the mind of witchcraft. Yani nia ya oi. No way. Every time you are thinking somebody bewitched us. Kila wakati unawaza eh mtu aliturora. There are sorcerers around. Kuna wachawi huko. There are people are destroying us. Kuna watu wanatuharibu. That mind. Yani usiwani. Cannot inherit the kingdom Aiwezi of God. Haiwezi kapokea ufalme. The wa mind of your past. Yani mawazo ya kule ulikotoka. How you felt in your form 4. Bila ulivyo shindwa form 4. Mpaka uwezi kupeana certificate yako anywhere. Wewe there on a certificate ya kundu bilia. Ulizo ulifika kilasi ngani unasema nilivyo Fika form 4 wow. ulipata nini si kuchukua result na wewe unajua kile ulipata hiyo mentality cannot help you wasi akuloa abikie class kibo yazi na abikie form 4 wakwatie chao ona yeye certificate ndiye alatia is only mentality itamba kuutethia god hallelujah god guy cannot move Aweza katembea with the whole mentality na mawazo ya zamazile the greatest endurance kizuizi kikuu of dominion cha utawala is your mindset ni mawazo yako there are people who think kuna watu wanaofikiria for me to be blessed wangu mimi kubarikiwa i have to go to china lazima niende china for me to be blessed wangu mimi kubarikiwa i must be connected lazima niunganishwe vizuri for me to be blessed wangu nibarikiwe i must have a god father lazima niwe na 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 god father nimekuja nikwambie if god is your father kama mungu ndiye baba yako you don't need god father how it is god is your father baba mwingine kama mungu ni baba yako the best in your life uko na kile chema cha maisha oh hallelujah not be conformed to this world na dunia hii but be transformed lakini mkabadilishwe i came this morning to say nimekuja asubuhi ya leo ni sema my mind Akili yangu must think like god lazima niwaze kama mungu stress can never stand the mind of god ali ya stress haiwezi kasimama kinyume na nia na mawazo ya mungu worry and anxiety ile shaka na kuwa una una una, una mambo mengi yanakupasa can never stand the mind of god haiwezi kasimama kinyume na mawazo ya mungu for god to change abram kwa Mungu abadilisha Abrahamu in chapter 12 of Genesis langwa 12 na 2 pale mwanzo and to tell him alimwambia come out toka come out of your people kwa watu wako the place i'm taking you pale ninapokupeleka can never be fit awezo kakaa can never be sustained akuwezi uka by the mindset of your people awezo kadhibitwa mahala pale na mawazo ya kikweli now the lord had said unto abram Mungu akamwambia Abraham get thee out of thy country toka katika nchi yenu and from thy kindred na kwa watu wako and from thy father's house na kwa nyumba ya baba yako and to a land that i will show you wende katika nchi nitakayokuonyesha listen to me child of god nisikize mtu wa mungu if you want to live in this world and live well kama ungependa uishi katika dunia hii na uishi vizuri you must change your thinking lazima ubadilishe mawazo yako you must adjust your thinking lazima ungeuze mawazo yako you yaku. must transform how you think ubadilishe vile ambavyo unawaza dominion dominion utawala requires unahitaji the mindset of god mawazo na nia ya kiungu if we are going to dominate kama utatawala our mind must be straight lazima mawazo yetu yanyoke vizuri when we speak ukinena we don't doubt hatuna shaka hallelujah amen when we say tukisema nothing changes hakuna mabadiliko that was what was in elijah hiki ndicho ambacho kilikuwa ndani ya elijah he was sure alijua kabisa there will be no rain kwamba kutakuwa na mvua he said akasema according to my word isipokuwa kwa neno langu according to my word kulingana na neno langu there shall be no rain akutakuwa na mvua for 3 and a half years kwa miaka mitatu nusu and so shall it na itakuwa hivyo and so sh- became na ikawa hivyo a man with dominion mtu aliye na utawala as you walk with god tembea na mungu is your responsibility ni jukumu lako to change your thinking kubadilisha nia na mawazo yako no man god ever used hakuna mtu yeyote ambaye Mungu alimtumia whose mind was not changed ambayo mawazo yake hayakubadilishwa he came to gideon alimjia gideon before he changed gideon kabla ambadilishe gideon gideon had to change his thinking gideon ilibidi abadilishe mawazo yake he came to the fishermen akaja kwa wavuaji told them follow me akawaambia nifuateni before they followed him kabla wamvuate they had to change their thinking ilibidi wabadilishe mawazo yao listen to me child of god
you shall never dominate so long as your mindset is still in the old nature kama tuma wazo yako na nia yako iko katika mambo ya kale We must change our thinking. Lazima tubadilishe mawazo yetu. We must begin to think like God. Tuanze kuwaza kama Mungu. If God says, kama Mungu anasema, whatever he says, chochote anachosema, we believe it. Unakiamini? And we will exercise it. Na tunakifanyisha kazi. Number 2. La pili. We must be imitators of Christ. Lazima tumuinge Kristo. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1. Why verse 5 moja. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1. Waefeso 5 mstari wa kwanza If we are going to dominate kama tutatawala we must be imitators ama followers of God lazima tuwe kama Mungu kama Kristo be ye therefore followers of God as dear children hivyo mfuateni Mungu kama watoto wanaopendwa and walk in love kaenende katika upendo as Christ also has loved us kama Kristo naye alivyopenda given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor ninyi akajitoa kwa ajili yetu sandaka na dhabiu kwa Mungu kuwa arufu na ya manukato be followers mukamfuate Mungu kamba they always say kama vile wakamba wanavyosema Mutinda ni na mukundu the one who stays with mukundu dale ako kunduka aweza <laughs> akakosa kukunduka hallelujah praise the name of the lord be followers <laughs> mukafuate look at your neighbor tell your neighbor do you want to have dominion am galia mweza kumuulize ungependa kutawala be a follower ufuate Uh, follow of God. Fuata Mungu. God chaser. Yaani ukimbizane na Mungu. God chaser. Ukimbizane na Mungu. You are after God. Uwe unatamani Mungu. The way you see MCA ama MP coming around. Wakati unapoona MCA ama MP anakuja, unaona watu wanakimbizana. Kuna watu wako karibu because wanatafuta wapatiwe 50 bob. Because they want kaamsa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wengine wanatafuta wapatiwe contract. And others are after contracts. Na wale wanafuatanga sana. And, and those that follow keenly. Mayuma mulio. Our talking bila kitu. Amen and amen. Amen. Those who are followers. Wale wanaofuata. Those who are followers. Ambao wanafuata. They always get something. Inabidi wapewe kitu. Paul is saying, Paul anasema, be followers of God. Mukafuate Mungu. When you begin to follow God, unapoanza kufuata Mungu. You begin to talk like God. Unaanza kunena na Mungu. When you talk like God, unaponena kama Mungu. You love dominion. Huko na utawala. Did you hear what I said? Askia kile nimesema. When you are a follower of God, hiwa unafuata Mungu. You begin to talk like God. Unaanza kunena kama yeye. When you talk like God, na ukiongea kama yeye, you begin to dominate like him. Unaanza kutawala kama Mungu. Show me men who had authority in their time. Nionyeshe watu walikuwa na mamlaka nyakati zao. They were men who followed God. Walikuwa ni watu waliomfuata Mungu. People like in the house What kama inda hosa they were able to speak to the government walinena na serikali of their day ya nyakati zao without fear pasipo na and the government could listen to them na serikali kawaskia one time i read about this man wakati mmoja nilisoma juu ya inda hosa he wanted tl osborne and another man of god to to fly out of nigeria alitaji tl osborne na mtu mwingine watoke wapae kwa ndege kutoka nigeria and the flight was fully booked na ndege ilikuwa imenjaa and he stopped the pilot na akasimamisha yule rubani and he went there in the plane akaenda pale akasema he said he has two missionaries akasema niko na wamisionari wawili men of god watu wa mungu who are supposed to fly to go for a mission in another city ambao wanafaa kupaa kwa ndege waende mara pengine kwa ajili ya huduma and he told the abiria na akaambia waliokuwa mara pale Wasafiri. can two people volunteer to give space to Kwa, this man of god kwamba watu wawili wakubali kupeana nafasi kwa sababu ya watu wa Mungu wawili and nobody wanted to give the space na kukuwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa tayari and because he was a man of dominion 
Na kwa sababu alikuwa mtu wa utawala. He looked at two people there. Akaangalia watu wawili pale. He told one you I know where you are going. You are not in Ari. Amka utoke. Na wewe hata wewe unajua kule unaenda, amka utoke. You can wait for another day. These people na watu wakaamka hata mbili you know yani moke like haraka mno mumete yani tamaa atakuwa ni end master no lika na end master mate ndulo kila sia one end master ah lika ngeitini kila mtu ese mbona dia be ndu kuika edhumwa chuni chongwe ta dominion iki ndicho kitu ninachoita utawala amen and amen hallelujah ukuza kuja no lika nduka ni ya mtu wewe mwe anoka nenda unenge 20000 kwamba unaweza ingia kwa ndugu yangu na mwambie ana taka 1200. Ngaiambia bena 20000 ba. Siliye mana. Mungu ameniambia kuna 1200 hapa azifanye zarafa. Na mtu akita 10 ya mbese hizo atokulia mokulio. Na mtu anatoa hiyo pesa bila maswali. Ni ta boss wake wetia. Ni kama imeitishwa na boss wake. That is what I'm talking about. Hiki ndicho nazungumzia. Mtu akuke huko ya nuku ubinge ya biashara. Mtu anakuja anakuambia anafunga biashara yako. Wewe mbidu kesi. You tell them sua itana adhoa before the sun sets with your utoiwe malindi utakuwa umepele kwa malindi utakuwa na sua itadhote jamaa yetu transfiwa that is what i'm calling dominion is transferred iki ndicho naita utawala we are not cheap people the way people think we are it's on that we don't know who we are sisi si watu raisi kama vile ambavyo watu wanatuona ni kwa sababu sisi hujui ni kina nani do you want to have dominion be a god follower. A man full of love. A woman full of love. The moment we follow God. Oh hallelujah. Our eyes will never look at men. Number 3. If we are going to dominate, we must know that we are gods. Kama tutatawala Lazima nasi pia tujue ya kwamba sisi ni miungu. Ni tu miungu, amen. Ni, ni tu miungu. Psalms chapter 82 verse 6. Psalms 82 verse 6. Hallelujah. Be ye therefore no 82 chapter 82 Psalms. Glory to God. Oh hallelujah. Somebody say I must dominate I must dominate I must be in charge I must be in charge Glory to God Psalms Psalms 82 Psalms 82 Verse 6 I have said ye are gods and all of you are the children of the most high This is not me who say. It's God who is saying. Ye are gods. You know we read the other day in Kiswahili. Wakati ule mwingine nilisema tulisoma kwa Kiswahili. We read in Kiswahili ya kwamba mtoto wa nyoka ni naye mtoto wa Mungu ni See that is so easy. Amen. Ye are gods. Ninyi ni miungu. And they are the children of the most high. Then verse 7 says. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. Hapa ni serious. Lakini mtakufa kama wanadamu. Mtaanguka kama mmoja wa wakuu. When we don't know who we are. Kama hatutajitambua. When we don't know that the same DNA that made God is what has made us. Kwamba DNA ile ambayo ilimtengeza Mungu ndio ile ile iliyotutengeneza. Psalm says. Saburi anasema. When you don't know. Kama mtatambua. You shall die like mere men. Mtakufa kama wanadamu wa kawaida. And there are so many people who are dying like mere men. Na kuna watu wengi sana wanaokufa kama wanadamu wa kawaida. We come and bury you. Nakuja tunakuzika when you are supposed to be a great woman wakati unafaa kuwa mwanamke mkuu a great man mwanaume mkuu a excellent person mtu ambaye amefanya mambo vema david writes and says daudi anaandika anasema i want you to know 
As you walk around, I want you to know ye are gods. You are the children of the Most High God. I need to understand. I must change my mind. I must follow God. And I must know that the DNA of God, the seed of God, is in my life. And it can create anything I need. Anything I need. Hallelujah. Whatever I need. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I open doors for you. I declare as a man of God, I open great doors for you. I declare you shall not die like mere men. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You shall shake your family. You shall shake your generation. You shall shake your, generation. You shall shake your pleasure. There is something inside you that you can stand before a cobra. You can stand before a python because of the seed of God in your life. I refuse to die like a mere man. I must know who I am. I am a seed of Abraham. Isaiah chapter 51. Verse 2. Isaiah 51 verse 2. Isaiah I am seen in a moja I'm saru apili. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look unto Abraham your father. Mukam tanzame Ibrahim baba yenu. And unto Sarah that bear you. Na Sarah haliye wazaa. For I called him alone. And, and blessed him, him. And increased him. Verse 3. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all the waste places. And he will make a wilderness like Eden. And a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Mana buwana me ufariji sayoni. Ame pafariji mahali pake palipokuwa ukiwa. Ame fanya njangwa lake kuwa kama bustani ya endeni. Na nyika yake kama bustani ya buwana. Fura na kicheko zitaonekana ndani yake. Kushukuru na sauti ya kuimba. Hallelujah. Amen. We na umo. We na umo. Kuna mahala umetoka. Kasi sa mundu muye, we na umo. There is where we are hewn from. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not just a Malombe son. I am the son of Abraham. My mother is called Sarah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And God called Abraham. He called him alone. He blessed him. He increased him. And I came to tell you today, if you are going to dominate in your generation, there is a need to understand that you are not just a simple person. Mm -hmm. If you are born again, if you are saved, you are not just a mere person. The game changes. Ah, hallelujah. The game changed. Your category changed. Your size changed. Your size changed. Your division changed. If you are division four, your division changed. When you gave your life to Jesus, when you surrendered to Him, when you became a child of God, for the Bible says, and as many as he received Him, He gave them the power. To become the children of God. When you know that, Hallelujah. that you are not just from your mind. Okay. Hallelujah. Now when they are not a Nambayaku. you are you are you we were by Angai. We were by a Simba a lion. One of the, the people who belong to the we, tribe of Judah. We were by a Alamata Sindawa. We were Unafanika Kuwa Moja Wale and Bao Awashinwi. 
Kanza yiku sinda. Kanza saratani ya weze kakusinda. Corona yiku kita. Corona yweze kakungoza. Sukale kasu. Ndiziki ya tawaka sukale niki. Kisukari akiwezi kikakusinda. Kiku palucha. Akiwezi kikakusinda. Niki. Kwanini. Nundu mbaye aku. Mana wewe wako wako. Ulibandilishwa. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why you should never be scared. Ndiyo sababu wa unahaja ya kuongopa. You need to know. Unaitaji welewe. That the moment you give your life to Jesus. Wako wakati uliokoka. He gave you power. Alikupa nguvu. He gave you dominion. Alikupa uweza. There is something inside you. Una kitu ndani yako. That can create everything you need. Ampatu kikaumba chochote unachutaji. You are self sufficient in Christ. Wewe umebeba vyote unavyo vii. You can break barriers. You can become mighty in your life. Dominion. I came to speak to you. Even if you are a small girl. Even if you are a small boy. If Jesus dwelleth in you. You have the right. To dominate. I will not be able to finish all what I wanted to say. But don't forget these three things. For you to dominate. Have a different mindset. Think differently. When you wake up in the morning. Don't think defeat. Tell yourself. It's doable. It's possible. If God did it. I can do it. With him. We make the majority. With him. We are more than conquerors. I am an overcomer. Not because of where I come from. But because of whom I believe. I am convinced. I am persuaded. I am assured that he whom I have believed the good work that he began in me he shall bring it to accomplishment. Let the devils in Kenya know that we are not cowards. We are not failures. We are not beggars. We are the children of the Most High God. We are not going to die like mere men. If they lay you to that ground, if they lay you to, to rest, they, they must say, a great man is being laid today. A soldier Shuja. Shuja. is being laid to rest. Though dead, though dead, yet his works speaks on his behalf. Oh, this will happen. If you are thinking, it's aligned to God's thinking. Hallelujah. Amen. Your mindset. Be a follower of God. Follow Him through prayer, through reading the Word, through fellowship, fellowship, through Bible focus. Oh, what you can do to find God where He is will make you to have dominion. I don't think anybody looking to become a president after he becomes a president he cannot go looking for people who he will make ministers. He will look at those who are following him. Those who have been with him. Those who have never denied him. That is the same way with the kingdom of God. If God is going to make you to have dominion. In his entourage. My wife is loving because he is in his entourage. He would see 
that person around. He was not seated in the back. He was talkative. God is going to pick anybody to have dominion. That person must be a true follower. One who is not ashamed of him. But even in the midnight, he can shout Jesus. Be a follower of Jesus. And the third thing, you must know that you are not a useless person. You carry the DNA of God. Whatever God uses to create, it is inside you. And you can create it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you have dominion. Dominate your flesh. The things that are dominating you. Change. Hallelujah. Change it. The last shall be the first. Hallelujah. Amen. Change it.